we do think that the, the sector is certainly ripe for rotation. The mega cap uh, growth tech names certainly uh, had a great year and really drove the market and the sector, of course. And the more value-oriented tech names have kind of been left in the dust a little bit. And so there's been an, a, a larger valuation disparity. So when we look into 2018, we would suggest that the rotation into value tech from growth tech suggests that maybe the, that uh, those value names can be better performers uh, into 2018. I mean, what would you, where would you put Apple on that spectrum? Is it value tech or is that growth tech? I mean, there's a lot of ways to slice it, so to speak. Uh, if you take a look right, at forward sure. PE and then if you also take out cash. Right. So we, we actually uh, own Apple and we mm -hmm. do think that, uh, you know, perhaps uh, the uh, iPhone 10 is, is not going to meet the very high expectations that have been put into place. But getting back to looking at the company overall, we do think that the new product dynamic will drive a lot of traffic and a lot of interest in the products. The, the Apple subscribers, the actual users that, that use Apple products, uh, you know, are very dedicated and very loyal. So we don't think that there's any problems with the franchise. When we look at the valuation, 15 times seems to be okay. They're the single largest beneficiary of the uh, repatriation, mm -hmm. uh, potentially with up to $270 billion, which they said uh, they would uh, do something friend friendly to shareholders once there was a new tax law. So we're, we're good with holding Apple here. Uh, you know, in, in terms of taking a look at the importance of the X, there's a lot of comparisons that are made with the popularity and the surge in the cycle when the iPhone 6 came out. And Reuters did this interesting analysis that I was just reading about where they were, they were looking at Chinese social media. And the number of mentions of the 10 pales in comparison to the number of mentions for the X when the X was first launched in this sort of early December time period. Does that concern you? Does it need to live up to that past super cycle? <sighs> There have been a lot of expectations that have built in, and that's why the stock has done so well, especially in the back half of 17. Expectations have certainly been built. Uh, one of the attractions about the 10 is that the, uh, the ASP, the selling price for that phone, is very high, and the margins are very high. But even if people go into the stores looking, for the, looking at the iPhone 10, but walk away buying only the, uh, the 8 or the uh, 8 Plus, uh, that's still a very uh, solid... Uh, economic benefit to the company. Uh, sure, we could see some, um, call it uh, consolidation in the Apple stock price. Maybe it doesn't move uh, directly, but we do think that the company is well supported and the growth is going to continue very strong over the course of the next year, at least in terms of earnings and cash flow. And that's what really investors should be most focused on. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.